So you're thinking about moving to Texas? Should you build a new house? We'll get into it. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here. Hopefully you've checked out the videos on our channel about moving to Texas or all different parts of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex where we are here in DFW. But uh, today we want to talk a little bit about building a new construction home. So if you're from anywhere in the country, moving to Texas and building a home here is probably going to be significantly different from wherever you were before. Obviously there will be some similarities, but our area does bring some unique opportunities and some challenges. But for most people, opportunity is the key word. Depending on where you're coming from, and we have a lot of people coming here from the Northeast and the West Coast, and those folks almost, you know, to a person are finding that they can build a much larger home here in, uh, in the Texas area, especially here in Dallas, Fort Worth. And so there's some real big benefits to that. Now we'll talk a little bit about why you need someone to help you do that because you absolutely do. We'll talk about some of the benefits uh, of a larger home and some of the uniqueness that comes with building a home here in Texas. So we'll kind of take it in opposite order here. What's unique about homes in Texas, if you're not from the area, especially in North Texas, is our soils, right? So we are mostly on clay soils here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. There are some variations depending on where you are, but because of that, when you're building a home, there's a lot more emphasis put on structure, structural integrity, the foundation. Is that done on a slab or pier and beam? What kind of piers are underneath those beams or what kind of piers are underneath those slab? Now, this isn't a video about that, but that's one of those major notes that you might wanna pay special attention to when building a, a home. Other parts of the country are more focused on things like radon gas or uh, you know, air rights going up high and things like that. So <clears throat> Texas is unique in that regard. We've, we've got a lot of land, so we tend to have slightly larger lots. You know, Even in a master plan community, you're seeing a fifth acre lot is not really un uncommon. Um, and we've got every variation. You've got zero lot line homes, which means basically there's a house and a, and a, and a fence and there's one right next door. All the way up to obviously we've got neighborhoods of 20 acre parcels, right? So there's everything in between. What's most common is that, you know, fifth or sixth acre lot in a large community. But in Dallas, Fort Worth, on the outer lying areas, we have a lot of communities with one or two acre uh, lots, even in kind of master plan, new construction type environments. So you can find a little bit of everything. Now, as far as cost, there's gonna be a huge variation, you know, across the state and across a city like Dallas, Fort Worth or Houston or something like that. But relative to the rest of the country, we are usually at or just below kind of the relative cost of living index or relative cost of housing index much more affordable per square foot for both the land and the structure than almost anything on the coast, whether it be West Coast, East Coast. Um, you know, the, the bulk of people moving here tend to be coming from the Northeast and California. And oftentimes they're selling a home in one of those regions and then buying a bigger home here for about half price. You know, they're buying, some of them are even buying two homes. They'll buy one build one to live in and buy or build one as an investment to rent. Um, but, but focused on that primary home, you know, the average new construction home in the Dallas-Fort Worth area right now is bigger than it's ever been. We're seeing very few entry level homes being built, you know, below that say 17, 1800 square foot range. We're seeing a lot of 2,500 to 3,500 square foot homes being built. And we're seeing quite a few homes well above the 3,500 square foot range, four and 5,000 square foot homes being built en masse because that's where the market has moved. Now our average price point across all homes, new construction and otherwise here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is in the mid to upper $200,000 range. So 250, 260, 270 is kind of the new average and it's climbing every single day. The new construction average right now is a pretty good chunk above that in the low 300s, and depending on what cities you're in, it could be much higher than that, where we're seeing builders aren't really building the entry-level home anymore. In some areas, we're seeing build them build mid-level and above. Um, it's not due to any scarcity of land. I think it's due to the opportunity and the cost of land. 
So if, it, if there's a certain cost to acquire that land, then they're going to build a larger home so they can recoup more of that cost and get a higher return on their investment. So if you're thinking about new construction and you're leaning towards a more affordable entry level home, that is going to be much more difficult in Texas. Sorry about that. I had a little camera snafu there, but what I was saying was the entry level, more affordable, lower square footage, new construction home is actually fairly difficult to find in North Texas right now. Now, in markets like Houston and some other parts of the state, there is a larger uh, availability or inventory of new construction entry-level homes in or at or just below or above the $200,000 price point. That just doesn't exist nearly as much, if really, if at all, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area right now. So it's just a little bit more challenging and specifically in regard to new construction to get into an entry-level home. It's just kind of what's being built and what's available right now. So all in all, buying new construction in the Dallas-Fort Worth area or across the state of Texas is a really positive approach. It's taking a little bit longer than it historically has. Uh, some of that is due to labor shortages where you've got multiple builders that are really having to share framers and roofers, plumbers and electricians, HVAC techs and things like that. Um, there's just a shortage of that, that, that expertise, that, that labor, those trades. Um, so the reality is the timetable of new construction is stretching out a little bit, but as the market slowly and gradually makes its way back towards a, a stable market, we're seeing uh, the availability of new construction um, open up a tiny bit, or there's an occasionally uh, homes that are about to be finished or who have just been that have just been finished that are available for purchase. So, you know, all in all, the opportunity for new construction, regardless of when you're seeing this in, in the Texas uh, market, is positive. Uh, there's a lot of options, not necessarily a bunch of architectural diversity, but you do get a bigger, nice, well-built home, relatively affordable compared to just about, you know, most of the country, especially West Coast and the Northeast, where we're seeing a, a lot of people come from. So, if you're interested in a good size yard and a good size house at a very affordable price, well built in a, in a wonderful community, I would strongly advise you take a, you know, take a very serious interest in new construction in Texas, specifically North Texas in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So if you have more questions about that, let us know, comment below. We'd be happy to shoot another spin-off video for you there or answer that those questions and comments there in the comment section. Uh, or be happy to connect with you one-on-one -on -one if you're thinking about making a move to the area. Of course, you know, we'd love to earn your business here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Uh, but if not, we hope this information has been really, really valuable to you. And I do want to recommend that you check out the rest of the channel. We've got all kinds of videos on relocating to Texas or Dallas or smaller communities within the DFW area, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, things to like and things to be drawn to in different parts of the city, different parts of the state. Uh, some positives, some negatives, and all sorts of good information for you there. So check it out, subscribe, and we'll keep making great videos for you in the future. Take care, and I'll talk to you on the next one.